chapter 1057 is here and Yamato is not joining. I am not against this. I'm just gonna focus on the Yamato stuff for now, get it out of the way. And then after that, I discuss some of the other stuff. When I first saw Yamato in the beginning, I was like, oh, okay. I started getting interested. I started getting invested a little bit with all the promise that the character was bringing. But then I saw and I was like, is it me or is this character like not going anywhere? Just not getting any proper development. And then I was like, unless this character progresses somewhere, I think I'll pass on Yamato being a straw hat. Like, a pair of side boobs is not enough for me to be invested, personally. I mean, don't get me wrong, a pair of side boobs is pretty nice and everything, but it's like... I was hoping that Yamato would sort of grow out of the whole Odin thing, whatever that is. However, what Yamato meant last chapter by living like Odin is gonna be traveling around Wano, having adventures kind of like Odin did, and then maybe, potentially, traveling out to sea with Luffy. Something about that was said later. Yamato seems to continue to disappoint as a character, not delivering with any proper development, just continuing on with this Odin shtick, never really developing. So it seems like the reason as to why Yamato suddenly decided not to go out to sea with Luffy is because Odin first traveled across Wano before traveling out to sea, so Yamato wants to do the whole thing. Again, the character does not have any individuality, any identity, and that's kind of problematic you know it's like not the most compelling character you'd want to follow somebody who just basically mirrors their own identity after somebody else although if Yamato had said something along the lines of I want to guard Wano and prevent anything from happening to it again then that would have been a much better excuse although too bad we don't get anything Oda throw us a bone like that's the best excuse that's the best reason as to why you're not traveling out to sea remember Yamato all you were saying throughout this whole arc is I want to go out to sea with Luffy what happened <laughs> now all of a sudden I told Luffy that I'm not gonna go out to sea with him like are we gonna further elaborate on this at all regardless <laughs> Luffy told Momo, Yamato, Kinemon, all three of them. He told them that like, whenever any of y'all trying to go out to sea, I got y'all. I'ma personally come and get y'all. He told them that. So does that suggest a potential return to Wano arc? Could it have something to do with exploring Pluton or the ancient Wano that's underwater? So I'm guessing that Yamato, Momo, and Kinemon sort of like honorary straw hats at this point. Which, let's be real, like who isn't an honorary straw hat at this point? Like Law is an honorary straw hat. Shinobu is an honorary straw hat. Carrot. Freaking Zunisha. At this point, Crocodile who helped Luffy and Impel down in Marineford. So the chapter starts out with Caesar Clown to the rescue for Jerma. The way the chapter actually starts is Yamato, Momo, and Kinemon are on their way trying to catch up to Luffy and them before they actually leave because they're at like Habu Port or whatever they're called. Basically, the Straw Hats do not say goodbye to Momo, Kinemon, and Yamato and Momo is taking it very personally. Same thing with Kinemon. Don't get me wrong, I would probably take it very personally if I were them too, you know, after traveling for so long with them. Especially Momo. Momo's like, on that energy of like oh i'm the shogun how dare y'all not say goodbye to me. you know like we later find out that the straw hats did this on purpose and that they were waiting for yamato momo and kinemon this whole time and they were not leaving yet it's just that they wanted them to come to them so that luffy could present them with a gift so luffy he hands it to momo momo opens the present and it's a straw hat flag for momo to place in wano luffy has wano country under him fishman island under him dress rosa let's be honest zo at this point because obviously Obviously, you got Water 7 for sure, Amazon Lily, and maybe, maybe Alabasta. Although I know that Alabasta is sort of in chaos right now. Then again, Vivi is an honorary straw hat who is currently on the run then, not in Alabasta. People could also make the argument that East Blue is under the straw hat protection. I mean, back when Big Mom threatened to kill Zef, the straw hats were willing to go back for him. Moving on, Momo, Kinemon, and Yamato say goodbye to the straw hats. The straw hats, heart pirates, and kid pirates all depart at the same time from Wano. You got the three of them just like sailing away while kid is over here taunting both luffy and law telling them that like oh if y'all try to take the safe route down y'all are a bunch of luffy and law almost fall for it but their crews prevent them from doing anything crazy because luffy is over here trying to take control he, he told jimbei like yo give me the give me the steering wheel or whatever you call it what's a steering wheel for a boat i will be honest that was kind of like a sweet funny gag moment because this is the last time that we're gonna see kid and law for a while finally we see how wano progresses from here on out it's just a bunch of random scenes showing that is this teacher telling the story of the scabbards we see a randomly placed hiori flashback showing what happened whenever denjiro pulled up the saber and 
killed Orochi. So he already had said something like the Kurozumi burn like charcoal, I believe, or something like that. And I believe the connection here is that Kurozumi means charcoal in Japanese. So I like, okay, thank you. I personally don't really see the purpose of that scene right there. Either like put that like way back then or just like don't put it at all. Why put it here at one of the very last scenes of Wano? It's kind of confusing and out of nowhere. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyways. Omonosuke is over here trying to debate where to plant the straw hat flag. It's a close on Wano. Wano's over. Act 3 is two chapters away from being as long as Dress Rosa. And that's only for Act 3. So what is Wano as a whole? Did somebody tell me in the comments? It has to be 150 chapters. Minimum. Minimum. Close but not quite. According to the One Piece fandom wiki, Wano is 149 chapters long, which is still massive. Like, goddamn. I'm gonna come out and say this right now because this is the last chapter. Please do not ask a rating out of me because I don't really do ratings, but I'm not a big fan of Wano. This whole arc was a mess. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the hype moments in this arc. However, this arc was also very problematic, specifically the pacing issues, dropped plot lines, unnecessary contrivances, side characters that no one cares about. Like, we had to sit through so much garbage in the arc just to get to the point where we're at right now, and that is not okay. <laughs> and let's be honest, despite sitting through all that garbage, it was not really worth it at the end. I mean, don't get me wrong, the post-raid stuff, like last few chapters of Wano were pretty good, but it still does not make up for the random crap we had to sit through. The Oni virus, Luffy just endlessly running up the stairs to get to the rooftop when he could just fly up there with gear 4. All the fake out deaths, like I could go on and on and on but I'm not going to. And this is only the raid, I'm not even talking about act 2 or act 1. I will say that I really did like gear 5 however, I am a huge fan of gear 5 and what it represents for the series and specifically Luffy as a character and how fitting it is. If you were to force a rating out of me for this chapter, I would just give it like a 5 out of 10 which is, don't get me wrong, a 5 sounds bad or whatever but it's really not you know like an average chapter there's nothing too wrong with it but there's nothing too great about it either anyways thank you for watching like favorite and subscribe and have a good one